Hello, Kira here. Yes, as always. And today we'll be watching how it's actually made: coffee. Yay! By Hugbees. Suggested by Christopher Vanster. Van Oster. Van Oster. Van Oster. If you want to be cool like this cool cat. Christopher Van Oster. Uh, Crino Christopher Van Oster. <laughs> you, you can give us a video suggestion Van <laughs> Christopher Van Oster. Christopher Van Oster. We love you, buddy. If you want to be cool like him, uh, you can <laughs> like uh, Christopher. type in the comment section below or join our Discord where, you know, they got suggestions too. So, so how it's actually made. Coffee by Huggies. What's he got to promote something? Oh, here? shit. Okay, well, I love coffee, and I'm Kira. And if you want to see more of me, you should find me at ComfyFitness.com, which go. is where I uh, spend most of my time, honestly. Um, where I do a lot of like movement, just kind of getting people inspired to get up, get moving. And that means a, there, there's just a lot to explain in that, which is why I avoid self-promotion like so, this one. So if you don't got it, get it. <laughs> and yeah. if you don't get it, go figure it go out. Go figure it out. So how it's actually made, coffee by Hugbees. There you go. Let's see this. According to legend, a goat herder in Ethiopia discovered coffee around 850 AD. Eventually, the beverage reached Italy, where the first European coffee house opened mm. in 1645. Yes. Today, about 2 billion cups of coffee are drunk each day around the world. I making love coffee, coffee. The second most valuable trading commodity after oil. Coffee boasts I over 800 it. flavor I need my, I need my caffeine. And features enough I caffeine to coffee. kill a full-grown elephant. Yeah. I don't think Who I care about caffeine. caffeine. I think I just love coffee. Cultivating someone's personality. The longer and more intensely they're decaf. roasted, the darker the outcome will be. Espresso, I love dark roast. A concentrated brew of I like medium roast. It's its name from the words express and disco due to its popularity in nightclubs during the 1970s. In the modern world, coffee is ready. How do you drink your coffee? Uh, there's two ways, depending on how I'm feeling. Either I drink it black, or if I feel like just having a nice leisurely breakfast, cream and sugar. You do cream and sugar or black. Wow, those are like the two ends. Yeah, so depending on how I'm feeling. If, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm in a rush and I gotta get something done, uh, black. Yeah. If, if I'm being leisurely, cream and sugar. Uh, I do heavy cream, always. Yeah. Regularly consumed in every single industrialized country, except Gerblazistan. Because I just made that one up. I was like, that is, is not a place that exists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. A fresh cup of coffee, yeah, but Manscaped. a pair of freshly shaved testicles as well. There we That's go. That's why Manscaped is trusted by more than 4 million men to provide cutting-edge right. tools and formulations for your below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped right. is introducing the Ultra Premium Collection with a 2-in-1 shampoo conditioner, Ooh. body wash, hydrating body spray, yeah. aluminum-free deodorant, I like the and name of it, Manscaped. It's waterproof. Yes. Manscaped also offers a peak hygiene plan that will replenish your supply that looks of like a products on a regular cycle yeah. by shipping them right to your door. There but you go. The See way, that shaft in those balls? Even yeah. If you're international, Smooth. But only and if clean you use code and efficient. Hugbees. 100%. And with code Hugbees, you'll also get 20% off your first order. 20% you're off order. 20% off your first order, plus free international <clears throat> shipping with promo code Hugbees at manscaped.com. Manscaped. That's, That's right. You gotta be Coffee's smooth and fresh and clean. Not only for yourself, but for your partner, and too. And how elaborately decorated its bag is. Espresso. Here in Costa Rica, coffee beans are hidden from the municipal government, so local farmers can export them without having 90% of their profits confiscated. Ooh. This is coffee. Coffee takes about three days to flower and three nights wow. to grow into red cherries that contain the coffee bean. Really? Holy shit, I never knew this. I didn't know a lot about the coffee. I knew I wouldn't know much. Harvest the red cherries after having disposed of the farmer and his family. What? Wait, wait a minute, what? 
The mayor's groin basket Hold on, wait. a large collection unit for all cherries he picks, provided he has the girth and length to support the basket. Wow. The fingernail grime adds to the flavor. The baskets Hold are on. emptied into bags made from a combination of strengthened canvas and burlap, perfect for transporting cherries, beans, and bodies. And pot. Excuse me, hold on. Hold on there, sir. There's something that seems to be a little off. I thought there was a The mayor never skips leg day. Wait a minute. Hold on. Whatever <laughs> beans don't end up on the factory floor in this sloppy operation end up in a collection tank. A hey. mysterious Spanish employee named Pedro insisted on washing his fingernail gunk off in the same collection tank as the coffee plants. The cherries travel via worm screw to a pulping machine. Pulping machine is just a politically correct term for giant mashing machine that squeezes the shit out of the cherries. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see where this is going. I feel it's cheated. It's so easy, even a factory worker can do it. In a factory. The beans travel down a lazy river to two large it's sifters. So no, wait, typically, even the park a factory enforces a policy of it. staying in your inner tube. This is why and machines no tube do it. Jumping, but everyone tube jumps. <laughs> That's just part of the fun. The paradox of the lazy river is most people aren't lazy in it. Most people like to fuck around and throw shit all the time. You know what? Fuck this park. It sucks. The beans continue to soak in a combination of 50% water, 50% part guest fluids, until they... Oh hey, it's Pedro again. Oh. You know, on second look, his mustache looks kind of fake. <sighs> That's a bit weird. The beans drop into a drying bin. Workers then lay out the beans in the shape of the American flag <sighs> to pay tribute to the country that consumes the most coffee per person per year. That's us, uh, USA. Uh, I coffee contribute coffee to that big time. Finland, but America is cooler, so let's just roll with it. Yeah, Once there we the go. beans are patriotic enough, they go into a milling machine. <laughs> First, it's into a mill, which is located in a house. The dried beans are empty onto the floor of the house with the mill. Locally, this is known as the Bart Simpson. Pedro's father gives the beans a soft touch, as well as a yes. tender kiss, to let them know that everything will be okay. <laughs> the beans are shaken vigorously to piss them off and help them unlock their buried potential. There you go. That's right. That's how that works. That's how it must happen. While workers fill the canvas and burlap bags from earlier with precisely 151.84828499999 pounds of coffee beans. Yes. Any more or less, and the entire factory will be shut down by the local mayor. Look at that thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's a nice burlap sack. After being filtered through a cage of starving refugees for cleaning, the <laughs> coffee beans enter a roasting Come machine. Come on! I Some thought there was going to be more to this. Similar <laughs> chocolate production is to coffee production. Don't worry, we've all noticed what a giant nerd you are. A factory worker looks at some beans, looks at the beans up close, contemplates life's futility, and then looks at the beans again. Yeah, frequently. Yes, I think that happens. Yes. The beans get so hot they start to steam. Hence why in upstate New York, coffee is often known as steamed beans. Life's utility. No, it's not called steamed beans. The factory manager scoops out some beans just to double check that they haven't disappeared yet. As the beans roast, they go from green to golden brown to decadent feces to black. To decadent feces. Coffee makers test out small batches before shipping out larger ones. Testing products before shipping them is a fairly radical concept, but coffee makers are pretty radical people. The beans yes. are roasted, scoop, kerfloganized. Kerfloganized. They're kerfloganized. Yes. Scooped again. Kerfloganized. And turned into Fucking four ridiculously it. large cups of coffee. Yes. Oh, I love it. Kerfloganized. Yes. I wasn't the one that kerfloganized them. A soothsayer predicts the future of the coffee through a tasting ritual. The tasting ritual begins with smelling the coffee's aroma to determine its success in dating, money, and family affairs. Hmm. 
Then she skims the surface to predict which prominent world leader will die next. This process has a 99% accuracy rating. 99% of the time, it's completely wrong. She takes a sip for the taste test and then spits it out. This coffee ah. backwash will be used to coat the beans before they're shipped to give them a mystical flavor. I That's always, not true. I always wonder where that magic came Any from. Rejected That's coffee beans are sent to a heavy duty grinder. This grinder powders the beans up and mixes them with potting soil to create fertilizer to sell to industrial farms. The added coffee beans don't help the plants grow any better, but it does make them energetic, irritable, and constantly need to piss. Okay. I see what's I going. can see that. I can see that. The acceptable For sure. coffee beans move onto packaging. As each bag is sealed, nitrogen is pumped in to help prevent the coffee from going stale. It's often recommended to immediately huff this nitrogen upon opening the coffee bag. That's right. To capture its yeah. freshest aroma. I have to remember that. If customers are unable to do this, coffee producers recommend purchasing a tank of nitrous oxide and wearing it while you sleep to enhance the flavor of your first cup of coffee in the <laughs> Come on. <laughs> awesome. Content oh, warning. Espresso machine. The barista this may demonstrates have the technique not to create the perfect true. espresso. Well, wait a minute. This isn't really how coffee is made anymore. This is just how to make coffee. Does that count? I guess technically it's how coffee it's made, but it, but it's not. It's it's not how you produce coffee or make coffee the product. Mm. It's how you actually use the coffee that you purchase. But okay, although you can also buy coffee from like a restaurant or or uh, something and I guess they do have to make the coffee. So this is how coffee is also made, I guess. I, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, th this is espresso though. This espresso is made differently than regular coffee. And well, yeah. yeah. Oh fuck, I'm so confused. No, yeah. it's not that confusing. Look, they're, they're, the, where they're, they're prepared the is different. Now. This is just getting more complicated. Okay, you know what? How coffee is made and how to make coffee. Yes. There you go. It's Filter. okay. But then that would mean that the initial process isn't how coffee is made, but how coffee is prepared? Yeah, that's what Fuck I said. It. It's prepared. Coffee. Prepared. It's made. It's made. The end. Yeah, the end. it's how video. coffee is prepared. When I read it was how coffee is made, right? Because that's the title. How it's actually made. I thought of like the origins, how it's like, yeah, you know, picked you know, and how it's, okay. you know, all of that. And, and, and so I think he titled it correctly. I think once you start getting into the weeds and the minutia of like fucking espresso versus coffee. Yeah. Cappuccino versus mocha versus latte. Or frappuccino. All of it, right? That's how coffee's prepared. So I don't, this reminds me of something from Rick and Morty. But I'm not going to say it because spoilers, because you haven't seen it. All right? Okay. But I think we all know what episode we're talking about, that I'm talking about, okay? For the initiated. That's all I'm going to say about it. But I, I, let's just say, at first... For I the initiated. For the initiated. Uh, for the uninitiated, get your learn on. But I, I, I would say uh, I, I was pleasantly surprised that it was actually a more humorous uh, take. So I'm going to say I learned something. Did you learn something? Kate? Yes. It's about the kindness of Pedro using his hands and Pedro's father <laughs> kissing the coffee beans, letting them know it's That's all going right. to be okay. That's exactly what it was about. And the thing is, you know, a shout out to the uh, soothsayer that was able to give the magic kiss. The soothsayer? No, the soothsayer. <laughs> you know, the... Studio. Yes. <laughs> who, who, uh, who, who, who spit the coffee gives it the magic. Yes, yes, so, yes, 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 yes. So totally. now I know why my coffee's so magical and also why my coffee beans sometimes give me a kiss, letting me know it's okay. Okay. Pedro's father kisses them. I know. Okay. My coffee beans give me a kiss a lot, too. That's a, that's a lot. By the way, folks, tell us how you prepare your yeah, coffee. how do you like your coffee how prepared? Do you, do you do you like a, a frappuccino? And what kind of roast do you like? Tell us all about 
I love coffee. Tell me all about the coffee you love. Do you, do you have cream and sugar? Do you take it straight black? That's right. How do you take your coffee? Do you, do you, do you, do you, yes. Do you, hold on. Wait, I got the phone. Do you have a Frappuccino, Cappuccino, Al Pacino? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I like how you slipped a gangster and there's not even coffee. Yeah, there you go. What's that? Okay. Anyway, oh, right. he's not over there. All right, we got to go. Bye. <laughs>